Welcome back guys to Super Paper Mario! After repelling old chunks, Mario and Co followed the Flora of Sapien underground. Was the Flora of Sapien hideout just up ahead? Wow, it's dark and narrow! Hey, who just kicked me? Sorry, or me! Our heroes followed the long dark corridor, listening to echoes of their own voices. As they groped their way along, the light at the end of the tunnel grew brighter. They had finally arrived at the Flora of Sapien inner sanctums. Kragnon's kidnapper in downtown of Crag had to be around somewhere. They do indeed as we start ourselves a new act. Chapter 5 Free, A Crag in the Dark. For our new Pixel compatriots, we'll find out exactly how powerful you are, sir. We move forward. Find out what's going on, what on earth is going on, what on earth is going on. Well, platforms to jump across first and foremost. A little bit of health restorative, thank you, sir. Coming to you live from the foul darkness, the home of the Floor of Sapien. Yes, sir, Kragnons would weep softly. No one has set foot in this cave and emerged alive. But some make history with sheer gall and willpower, and Flint Cragley is such a man. I feel like I should be doing some kind of David Attenborough voice. Cragley ho! Into the Floor of Sapien Cave of Doom, a Flint Cragley Crag trotting adventure. No, no, wait a second, that'll never play well in the sticks. How about. Cragley ho! Taste danger! Flint Cragley versus a recragonated mummy in Flora Sapiens Central. I wonder if that'll test well with a weekend audience. Those Cragnons are fickle. Hi. Hi, excuse me, sir. Cragley ho! Suddenly, out of the cave mist, mysterious, slavering creatures lurch into view. Did they hope to dine on Fillet of Cragley? Would our hero meet their mandibles? Tune in after this brief commercial break to witness the torrid conclusion. Great cut, print, rabbit. Now what you dots want? What are you doing here? Huh? You want a quest to find a treasure called the Pure Heart? Spectacular, just fabulous, all time coincidence. That's what this is. Just great to meet fellow adventurers, really it is. I'm ecstatic about this. You call us slavering dots. Listen, call me Flint. I'm a heck of a guy to know, best crag trotter of all time, of our time even. You may know me from Flint Cragley, Crag Trotter, which airs weekly on Crag Vision. That's why I pretended to be kidnapped. I'm filming another epic show. Unfortunately, my idiot crew wandered off somewhere. So unprofessional. I'm sure. They probably got kidnapped. I turned away for a second and they vanished into the foul blackness of this cave. Confirmed. The worst part is, they have the key that will get me deeper into this infernal abyss! You there! If you run into my crew, tell them I'm waiting and stomping impatiently! Pure adventure personified, thanks you kindly! Says the guy who doesn't want to go adventure and find them. If we run into them, fine. Fine, says Tippy. Fine, says me. Let's move forward. Find your guys. If we can, we've already got a fine guys after all. Right, so we got a platform here. Quite a wide platform, let's just drop down and see what's going on. Oh, another platform and a locked door! And it seems the save point's ahead of us with another little bit of a ledge, but we're going along and Buzzy Beetles are coming. So this hammer breaks straight through the fence. Not a problem for me whatsoever. In fact, more in this flip perspective. Let's take them out, no problem whatsoever. And meet whoever on earth you are, Kragnon. Stuck, flip! Your whole world can change when you see from a different angle! You say that, but there's a guy here and I want to scan him somehow. That Kragnon has been brainwashed with a strange sprout by the floor of Sapiens. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, they will attack any intruder. They are so tough, but if you stomp one, your score will go down! They're usually found in the mine looking for gems for King Crocus! Okay, so I don't want to attack them. These weird new enemies that for once I actually did scan. Can't go down there. I just thought we found one of the crew. Well, at least we avoided minus points, I guess. Right, what's going on here? We got two different perspectives of blocks and some lovely pow pills. Of course, our pow pills are now going to take out everyone we try to beat now. As you can hear, they're really going at it. We can break blocks underneath us, in fact. But not that one. That one seems a little bit too far out of our reach. Okay, we've got lots of spinnies. Well, let's take them on one by one. Oh, Pow Pill, good job. Pow Pill, good job. 
I, ca I can't do any of them myself, if you know what I mean. Oh, we'll take the lovely health, thank you. That's brilliant. Don't really need it at this point in time anymore. No. Right, we can get out Boomer now, I guess would be best. We could actually Bowser fire him, maybe, from the platform ahead. But we haven't checked this warp pipe is warpy enough. Farewell you, and farewell you as well, because Boomer can deal with you without an issue. I guess Kudge is a little bit faster all in all. No, can't go down here. Right, those blocks are very well separated. Excuse me, sir. We're hammering you. And then you're the next one on my list. And we've got Putrid Piranha up there as well. Ooh, you just proved to be a little bit more useful. And being able to dispatch piranhas nice and efficiently. Can't go down there. Okay, we got one of these blocks is on a different perspective, eh? Well, that's probably why, right? Time to speed up! And absolute chaos begins! Will I fall down a hole? Will something happen? I don't know. Until it happens, anyway. There we go, see? I knew it! I missed the jump, misjudged it completely. There we go. Up, you, you go away. Look, go away. But now I'm missing all these points because I can't jump on the beetles and deal with them too. I thought I got the future piranha, but we got another time is free there. Oh well. Sometimes these speed ups and the whatnot, they really don't help whatsoever. I love how the horse tail managed to go in the pit. Yes, go, go in the pit. We don't need you. Maybe we should check out the doors as we go, but, uh... Oh no, I don't want to get hit by you, Hammer! 17 damage! Man, these piranhas are everywhere, and I can't, I can't hammer in midair, which is what I was trying out there. They are not the funnest friends ever. We could use Barry, I guess. I wonder if Barry does enough damage straight off the bat to get them. We could probably pluck them, using Faro, in fact. Oh man, these piranhas are everywhere! Oh, we can just bombard you from above. That's fine by me. We know that this one's got something, and I'm not sure I really want a slow flower. Slow down even more. Now we can't make the jump. We're going to do it. A Flora Sapien stands before us, are we? And for once, they didn't run off. And they stylishly dodge its head, which... Okay, this time the head decided it didn't want any more life. And left us with uh, the body. Which is just weird in its own way. This game's crazy, I'm sure I'm going past things I don't want to be going past here. Well, I've defeated your head, sir. And we'll finish off the body once we got rid of the piranha over here. Lots of greats. You can only get so many before it's just chaos and confusion in my heart and in my mind. Right, blow it up! Oh, I thought one of those blocks would add something in it. Maybe if I hit it rather than... Come on, we can do this. No, we can't. How's that ball? We're ending up just going past defeating every enemy at this point in time. Well, we don't need to jump over you, that's for sure. We can just head onwards, but... To be honest, it seems like there's some kind of switch to be able to... Oh no, maybe not. Of course, there's no kind of switch for this. We've got a hammer. We can just break through whenever we want nowadays. Right, so we have at least two doors to go through. Let's go through the furthest one first. Always doing things in the wrong order, that's me. A minecart, you say? Start the cart ride? What am I doing on it? Can I jump? No, we just... We're just going. Crazy music. We are... Uh, we don't need any broken track or jumps. It's fine by me. But you have enough loop-de-loops? Yes, we do. In fact, we have a double loop-de-loop -loop coming up. It's not Sonic the Hedgehog, man. That's one long cart ride. If I'm going the wrong way, then I'll have to come all the way back on this cart. Not fun. Right, we've made it to the other side. Let's get up and get moving. 
But well, that was weird. Flora Sapien! Ahoy! No, none in this perspective. We'll take you out, sir. We can get your head first and foremost after all. Oh no! Ow! How dare you get me with your head proper? What's this? A sap soup! Concentrated syrup restores free HP and cures poison. Not exactly that brilliant for us, but uh, we may as well just quickly use it, I guess. Check out what's along this passageway. Right, somewhere to bash through here. It's not that obvious unless you flip, flip, flip. We can make it nicely along up here with that. And we found a member of the TV crew. Hey, you not mind controlled? You escaped from processing central bar? Monzo may be ought to take director there. Maybe sprout on head mellow him out. You're one of that craggy gentleman's crew members? He's requested your return. Huh? You know director? So that where he was? Huh, he told Monzo wait here, but Monzo bet he forgot one second later. Job of Monzo really lame. Thanks brah. Monzo head back now. I'm sure Monzo, have fun heading back! This is a chaotic enough place as it is. How are we going to avoid jumping on one of these lovely friendly guys? Well our attack went up by one, that's brilliant, but we don't really want our attack to go up even further. But of course we can skip things by just rotating. Again though, I don't think that's going to help you much. Considering the fact that literally everyone is brainwashed. We don't want to somehow lose a level. Well, let's drop down, see if there's anything down here. Oh, more brainwashed Kragnons. But also a secret passageway. We got a Spanier card. It's for one of the spinny guys, is it not? Right, let's get out of here. Excuse me. Out of way. Pardon me. Oh, zombie shroom. I'm going to try not to jump on it. Yes, got the zombie shroom. Good. Extra points. But I try not to jump on friend's head by overshooting this block. Right, we made that out. We made it out fine. So one of the television crew has been found. Past the massive roller coaster ride of doom. But now it's time to go all the way back again. It's the double loop to loop first, is it not? I do wonder what powers this card, however. It does seem to keep its speed together rather well. I assume it must have a powered track. I really wish it did not keep loop de looping. I've only ever been on one roller coaster ever in my life, and it was amazing because I was like 10 and I went in there on my own and it broke down. It was an indoor roller coaster and it rained, right? It was in a pyramid. It broke down halfway there, and all I can remember is this woman <laughs> screaming her head off, and I was enjoying it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a kid thing to do, but. The lights come on, and well, first of all, it was dark for ages. The lights come on, and you're completely like ah, stuck. My well, so far up, you you wouldn't be able to jump down. Let's put it that way, and you're just there like oh. Well, we can head up if we want to, but I'm not sure that's going to do much for us. And this lady behind me, this older lady, is just screaming her head off, and I'm I just found it humorous. I think that cut any kind of scared from me, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. I think we just found something with a little bit of a flip there. Now, how are we breaking through this, however? There is a block there. See, that was a kind of a nasty thing for me to find that kind of being funny. Blow it up! But it just was. It was just that kind of situation. Stuck up God knows how high, not knowing when the help's actually coming. And then climbing down for me again afterwards was just cool. You got to see parts of a roller coaster that you wouldn't normally get to see because it was a pitch black roller coaster ride in some senses. So you just left your entire senses of like travelling backwards, travelling forwards. There was a drop section as well where the track fell out from under you and fell downwards. That's the only roller coaster I've ever been on. Maybe because it broke down, I don't know. I think I went on it once before and it worked fine. I found it more fun when it broke down. We've got ourselves another cart ride here, but do we need to take it? That's a good question. Well, we may as well see where it takes us. I assume it's faster than walking after all. It's just a couple of humps. 
guess you can't really fit much of a roller coaster ride in here. Well, that was good and all, but there was some kind of door back there. Don't think I didn't notice it. Well, we may as well head through the pipe either way, find out what's through there, because I'm sure we'll be coming back. Flip! To find a billion controlled Kragnon? Not what we're after. Not what we're after whatsoever. Did I not find another member of the camera crew in the previous room rent to? Maybe I've missed something out there quite a bit. So we gotta flip while we're on the minecart ride, maybe? It looks like it to me. Right, with that in mind, we head back. And then see if we can flip. We can indeed, right. So that might give us a little bit of a clue as to what we're supposed to do. I, mean, I got so carried away talking about that weird roller coaster ride I had as a kid that I might have missed something here. Right then. May as well flip now, eh? Take the path to the left hand side. No, mind you, am I gonna hit my head quite perfect? Whoa! Okay, that's a tricky little roller coaster there. I'm not even strapped in. Okay, whatever. We'll just take it as it comes. Hello, Flora Sapien, prepare to be defeated. And your head has gone off massively, but mind you, with our extra attack, we do have enough damage to take you out no problem whatsoever. Which I can always appreciate. Now, what's below me? Not a... Okay, not a Flora Sapien friend. I could have guessed you were a zombie shroom, sir. We got ourselves a ladder back up. I'm pretty sure we did see someone up on high after all. Maybe we should go down up... Well, go down. Go up first. Try to make it across this gap somehow, some way, or... I don't think there is any way. Oh, a, a red floor sapien, sir! We'll take you out as well. That's what we do, don't you know? We are the punisher of all flower-type evildoers. Oh! Now we've got to watch out about... No, we don't want that sap. Right, yeah, we've got your head. And now we're going past... To nowhere whatsoever again, because they're all taken over. Even the guy at the very end. All right, let's jump up. Let's see if we can head up somehow. Well, there's someone up there. But to get to him, that's another story right now. All right. There's got to be some kind of secret something. We can definitely head up on high. But how we're getting over from here, that's another story. Right. Of course, whenever I say that, I forget that Peach is part of our arsenal of characters. I don't know why I keep forgetting it. It's because Bowser's is there for attack and Mario is there for overall movement and jump. Peach has this defensive notch in her, which I'm kind of not supplying very well by constantly getting hit, but you kind of forget about her abilities and tend to use Mario instead. Which is very wrong, very wrong indeed. Right, Peach, let's hope your floating abilities can get me somewhere nice and not fall on anyone's head. Hello! Whoa, where in Craig you guys come from? Serious, who are you, brah? You're one of Finn's crew members, is that right? He's looking for you. Huh? You know where Director is? Oh, that's where he is! Fangs, Hornfell's head back now! But first, you see other crew Kragnons with little sprouts on top of head? Flora Sapien using sprouts to mind control Kragnons! I see you, they attack! Don't let guard down, brah! Crag you later! I did see one indeed. I got warned early. And now I am dodging with everything I can! Time to Flora Sapien down, or, you know, have a little bit of a float. Let's not land on anyone's head here. Right, we got the sound man, we got the cameraman, I think it was. Is that all his overall crew? I'm hoping it is in the end. Let's take the cart ride on our way back. Come on, Peach, it's your turn. Don't bash your head. 
Do the weird twisties. And all the way out along the track. And the last hump. And we're there. Ow! So I imagine it's time to head back now to our Mr. Man. Mr. Flint Cragley. The eponymous sir himself. And I'll see you guys next episode for more Paper Mario. So join me then. Bye-bye.